What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to highlight and bronze your face. Especially for you beginners who don't know how to do this, I'm going to be using cream and powder. If you guys want to learn how to do this look, then just keep on watching. What's up guys? I didn't realize I wasn't recording, so good thing I didn't go into my bronzer cream yet. But as what I was saying to the camera, I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And then this is in the shade Light Beige. And for my girls who like, you know, a bright under eye, I'll suggest going two shades lighter than your foundation to get that bright look. And then for the girls who like to keep the same tone with your concealer, um, just like me, it's all right. You can do the same steps like what I'm doing. So what I was saying is that with your concealer, if you have a round face, I suggest you Instead of doing what I did here, make a triangle. Instead of making a triangle here, I just suggest you doing one swipe down to your nostrils and then one swipe to the side. Because you don't want to emphasize the fact that you have a round face. For the oval shades girls, I like doing this. And then I do put a little bit of concealer on my chin. And I do a half dome on my forehead and all, and then I drag that straight line down to the tip of my nose. I do a half dome instead of like the palm shape looking thing that everyone does. I saw Ariel, which is Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, do this, and he just suggests you doing a half dome. Uh, ever since I've started doing that, it changed my life. So for cream, I suggest you guys use a warm bronzer. This is my Huda Beauty Fair Tan Tour Contour and Bronzer Cream. And this is pretty warm. I love it. I don't like a chiseled look. I just like to look bronzy. What I do is grab my P. Louise flat brush, grab a good amount of that contour, and instead of putting your cream bronzer on the exact hollow of your bone, I suggest you go a little higher and then you're gonna drag up. You don't wanna be too down because then you're just pull down your features, which you don't want. So I'll show you. My hollow's right here. I'm gonna go a little bit above, make that line. And then with the excess, I'm gonna go under my jaw, just like that. I'm gonna drag this a little bit up. Not too much though. And then I'm gonna repeat the same step on this side. There's my hollow, I'm gonna go a little bit up. Drag it down. Make sure to pull all your, um, bronzer too hard because then you can really mess up your foundation. So you wanna shape out that jawline so this is what I do I just go under like this and then for the forehead what I like to do is make a line up here and then two lines right there one two and then a little bit right here and a little bit right here and with the tip of this brush, I'm gonna make two straight lines down my nose. Not too much, you don't need too much. Just like that. Repeat the same step. And then make a little point on the tip of my nose. You can also go under your lip to make it look a little bit more poutier. Just like I'm doing, or also go around your lips to make them look a little bit fuller, but you don't have to do that. So, and you can always add more if you want to. For me, I like to add as I go. So now I'm gonna blend out my concealer. I do like letting my concealer dry a little bit just so I get the most coverage out of it. And down my nose, going with the tip of my beauty blender. Try to blend that out. Go in with the tip of the beauty blender again and try not to move your product around too much. So 
See how flawless that looks? I love letting it dry just for the same fact that it just becomes a little bit more pigmented under my eye. All right, so with that same tip, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this little contour I have on the side and blend this out. And since I still have the residue of the concealer, it makes it even more easier to blend out. Now my nose looks snatched. To blend out the contour, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. airbrush blender and use the flat side. And you don't wanna drag, you wanna just pat. Pat it away, because you don't wanna move any product that you may have underneath. You see, I'm just doing patty motions, no rubbing, because then you'll mess up your foundation you have underneath. And you want to go up, not down. See? Same for the forehead. Pat. No rubbing. See how effortless this bronzer is? No matter how long you have it on your skin, it's not gonna move around or get too stiff. Patting motions, patting motions. How many times do I have to say patting motions? Remember to get into your hairline too. All right, same for right here. And then don't forget about your jawline. That you can rub. And you wanna drag it down to your neck. Again, if you wanna keep blending, you can. And with the excess on your brush, go on your ear. You don't wanna forget about your ears. It's important, just like your neck. Especially if you have your hair in a ponytail like me. That is essential. And you can rub underneath your lip, just like that. And for the actual highlighting part, this is my favorite part. I'm using the Rare Mesmerized Liquid Luminizer. Wiping off a little bit of excess that I have. Place a dot right here. Place a dot right here. High point to my cheeks, remember. That's where the light catches the most. Tip of my nose. And then you can blend this out with your finger or with a beauty blender. Just because I have my beauty blender ready, I'm gonna use it. Also, if you guys don't have beauty blenders, there's also a lot of other alternatives like the L sponge. Like I can't get enough of that sponge. It's amazing. So here I'm just tapping it on. This is where the light hits my eyebrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it up a little bit. And then same for this. The light's hitting me here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pat that in. Usually I do all of this, like cream, when I want my bronzer and highlight to stay all day and if I'm going out, I want it to last. So that's why I'm doing it a little bit more heavier than usual. To set all that, I'm using my Alamar Cosmetics Brighten Bronze Complexion Duo. This is in the shade Medium Tan. I know I'm not, you know, super, super tan, but I'm also not super, super light. Does that make sense? So right now I'm just patting out the creases of my eye so I can set my under eye. I'm using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush E35. It's tapered like this. It just literally gets into your creases and I'm taking a little bit of I'm Woke. This is a brightener right here. It's a yellow shade. I love these shades because it's just so brightening. Getting a little bit because this is highly pigmented and stamping that on my Concealer. And right here on my chin, a little bit around my nose. 
just because I want a little bit of brightness. See how much that brightened up my under eye? Same from right here. Tapping motions or my nose. Uh, wherever I have that concealer, I'm gonna set right here. And for bronzer, I'm using Soltera, which is this beautiful bronzing shade. And I'm taking my Sigma Large Angled Contour. This is the F40. And go really light with this because these bronzers are like super pigmented. Tapping off the excess. I'm so happy because I got this bronzer at Target and I've been meaning to try out Alamad Cosmetic. I just heard great things about it and now that I'm actually trying out their products, I am in love. And totally worth the price. So if you guys see this, pick one up. So now to set that bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and use Tapping Motions. So I'll move around that cream we have down. You see, just like that, on that actual bronzer. Grab a little bit more of Sotera and doing my forehead. And if you have a small forehead, you can literally just do two lines right here on the side, on the side of your eyebrows, and you're good. You don't have to do what I do. I do have a little bit of a bigger forehead, so I can get ready with doing this. Remember, padding, no rubbing. And you feel like if you need a little bit more, go in with a little bit more. Don't forget your ears as well and down your neck, especially if you're bronzing. And if you're wearing a low cut shirt, make sure you get your chest as well. All right, with this same bronzer, I'm taking my Luxie 207 brush, grabbing a little bit of that bronzer as well going in the tip of my nose, wherever I put that bronzer, that cream, and emphasizing it a little bit. I like it because it's pointed and it gets right here into my little nose area. I like to go a little bit on my brow bone as well to make it all cohesive. To set the highlight, I'm using my Huda Beauty uh, Flora Nymph All Over Highlighting Powder. And I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M510 brush, grabbing a little bit, well, that's not a little bit, but grabbing a good amount. And I'm just gonna set wherever I put that highlighter, which is on the highest points of my cheeks, right here. If you wanna go underneath your brow bone a little bit, you can. Going up here a little bit. And if you have texture, just keep in mind that you don't wanna put the highlighter over those texture bumps, because if you do, it'll just emphasize it. Just a PSA. Ooh, girl, I love a good highlight. I love a good highlight. Don't forget your body too, if you're wearing something low. You don't just wanna glow on your face, girl. You wanna glow all over. All right, so for my nose, I'm gonna use the Morphe Times Jacqueline Hill brush, JH42, it's a tiny brush. Take a little bit of that highlighter, go on the tip of my nose, and then go a little bit down my bridge, which is right here. Since it's so precise, you don't have to worry about it going everywhere. There you go. And then I'm gonna go in a little bit in the inner corners as well. A little bit on top, keep it well. Bon. 
And there you have it. And if you guys wanna keep adding bronzer, you can, but I'm gonna stop here, because if I don't stop now, I will have a bronzer helmet. If you guys wanna see more beginner videos, I can do a similar video like this, but only using drugstore products. If you guys would like that, please give me a thumbs up, let me know. And if you guys do like beginner series, let me know and I will continue doing them. And I can do high end and drugstore, whatever you guys prefer. Yeah, just let me know. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys wanna see more, please make sure to subscribe and please hit that bell to get notified anytime I upload. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.